hello friends today i am going to tell you about windsock what is windsock see there are so uh, few questions which came in, into your mind that what is windsock where should a windsock be placed why is it called a windsock what is the name of a device that is used to measure the windsock how do we check wind speed without a device what is not and how do you calculate speed in mph these are the very common questions uh, which everyone came in his ma in their minds so today i am going to explain this in a very short video so what is windsock windsock is basically a tool used to determine the direction as well as strength of the wind wind enters from one end and escapes out to other see wind enters from this end and escape from here this is a conical type of uh, uh, cloth textile cloth and uh, it is it is made in like this that wind enters from this direction and out from this direction there are different sizes available in the windsock this 3.6 meter length and in 3.6 there is 900 millimeter of diameter of this circle uh, we can install it and uh, 2.5 mm meter length 600 millimeter diameter of the of the hole is available in this so there are different sizes of the windsock is available so now where should we should a windsock be placed windsock is mostly uh, is a conical textile tube you may seen it mostly at the airport runways helipads or highways at a windy location when there is a so much wind and we need to know the location we need to know the direction and strength of the wind so we install the windsock on these location this windsock is installed in the airport so the pilots can easily see it after landing also you can see windsock in oil and gas industry mostly so why is it called a windsock windsock originally come from japan and china the romans used windsock as a military banners so and what is the name of a device to measure wind speed the anemometer is used to measure the strength of the wind see these are the anemometers which are mostly used in above the transformers and so many in the airports and in so many locations so the anemometer measure the speed and strength of the wind the most common types of anemometer have a mechanism that rotates as it catches the wind see wind strikes this and it rotates and it shows the speed and this is the direction so it shows the speed and this is the direction which shows by the uh, anemometer now by the help of windsock they are going to measure uh, the speed so this is also the anemometer which is used to calculate the wind speed but it is measured in the digital digitally so here this is the eight fan are available eight fan blades of a, uh, of a fan is available this is a device which is used to measure the wind speed it has a 1.5 inch lcd screen there are so many switches buttons available for if you there is a centigrade temperature measured in the centigrade you can also measure in the uh, fahrenheit and there are the different units available the knot kilometer per hour miles per hour meter per second different uh, uh, different types of reading you can take from these uh, anemometer devices so how we check the wind speed without device see if you have the wind sock and your first segment this is the first segment if your wind sock is like this see the when the wind sock is in this direction this is the first segment which shows if the wind direction is like this and you don't have the device you can imagine you can calculate by this also if this if there is a first segment so it shows the three nodes three nodes means the wind speed is 5 feet per second if the segment is at second one this is the second one so this is the six nodes and the speed is 10 feet per second if there is a third segment so it means this is a nine nodes speed and the speed you can uh, assume that 15 feet per second and if it is fourth segment so the speed is 20 ft per second 12 knots and if it is fifth segment the speed is 25 ft per second and 15 knots if the knot if if the knot is 20 knots if it is if the speed is 20 knots 
then mostly in oil and gas industry we stop the operation because there is a very heavy wind and we cannot work in this in this condition because of the heavy wind so we need to stop the operation for safety purpose so what is not not is a unit of speed equal to one nautical mile per hour exactly 1.852 kilometer power per hour approximately 1.151 uh, miles per hour or 0 0.514 meter per second the iso standard symbol of the node is kn see mph is denoted by miles per hour kmh is denoted by kilometer per hour ms is denoted by meter per second see the, this is also different different directions which i have explained you in the above three nodes like this this is six nodes this is nine nodes this is 12 nodes and this is 15 plus nodes if the speed is around 20 nodes uh, then you need to stop the operation in oil and gas industry so it means it is a heavy heavy wind so now how do we calculate wind speed in mph convert a wind speed measured in kilometers per hour to mph divide the kilometers per hour by 1.61 to get the wind speed in mph miles per hour if your wind speed is 161 kph for example then you can divide by 1.61 and it is 100 miles per hour and if you want to convert the speed from node to meter per second you can directly divide it by 1.944 or you can by the google you can also check 20 nodes is equal to 10.2889 meter per second note please note that stop operation in oil and gas industry if wind speed is 20 knot or 10 meter per second so we we need to stop operation i hope you understand the uh, this uh, about regarding the wind shock